today I want to go over the process of cleaning an SLR lens. But before I get started, let me show you the tools that I use for the job. First, I have a lens cleaning solution, then Geodes Rocket Blower, microfiber cloth and lens cleaning paper, and last but not least, a toothbrush. I'll explain what I use it for later. Before I dismount the lens from the camera body, I'll take the, the camera uh, cap and I'll clean it very well, both the inside and the outside where it mounts on the camera. Why? Because as soon as I dismount the lens, I will clean the lens mount right here on the camera and I don't want to be putting a dirty cap on a clean body. So, once I do that, once uh, the, the cap is clean, then I'll dismount the lens, put the lens cap on, and using the same solution, I'll apply a couple of drops on microfiber cloth. Then I'll start from the outside right here of the lens mount because that's where a lot of the dust and dirt will settle. Then once, I'm, once I do that, I'll clean the actual lens mount. Just like that. And as you can see, it's pretty dirty. Once that's clean, I'll put the camera body cap back on and move the camera to the side and we're ready to clean the lens. When it comes to cleaning lenses, I have a three-step process. The first step is to clean the exterior part of the lens, including the lens hood. The second step is to clean the lens mount. And the third and final step is to clean the rear and the front lens elements. For cleaning the exterior part of the lens, detach the hood, then use the same lens cleaning solution, apply some of it on microfiber cloth, and just wipe the lens gently from all around and make sure that the dirt and dust that you see on it is removed. Once you do that, then uh, the, the next part is the tougher one is to actually clean the rubber uh, rings right here for zoom and focus. And um, I've tried different solutions, different brushes, and believe it or not, the best one that I've found to date is a toothbrush, especially a hard one. Uh, if you can just go to a local grocery store and grab a hard brush, believe it or not, it will work great. So I just do this for both the focus and the zoom ring, and it cleans most of the stuff out. It's really amazing. Simple stuff that works. Anyway, once you do that, then I would um, then extend the barrel all the way on the 2470, it's at 24 millimeters where the front part of the lens extends up like that. Then again, apply some solution and with, a, with the um, clean side of the microfiber cloth, just wipe it around like that. Make sure there is nothing on it and just blow the rest of the stuff off with a rocket blower. Now the exterior part of the lens is clean. Let's move on to the lens hood. Cleaning the lens hood is even easier. All you have to do is just uh, clean it from the outside and then from the inside. And then don't forget to clean the area right here where it actually um, mounts on the lens. So the lens hood is clean. Now let's move on to cleaning the lens mount. Before I start cleaning the lens mount, what I will do is I will clean the rubber gasket right here that goes around. Why? Because that's what actually touches and wraps around the uh, mount on the camera. And I can guarantee you that you will see plenty of stuff on that rubber gasket all the time. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. Once you do that, then use the cleaner side of the microfiber cloth again. And this time what we're gonna do is we're going to actually clean the, the lens mount, just like that. Okay, wow. The final step is to clean the contacts on the lens. And that's what actually uh, sends information from the lens to the camera body. 
and it's these um, middle round contacts right here. And also don't forget to clean the wall around. There we go, the mount is now clean. Now, uh, don't forget to clean this too before you put it back on. Okay. The next task is to, um, if you have a filter, just clean the filter. If you don't have a filter, then, and I can, you can see that I have a, a polarizing filter on the lens, then just um, first inspect the front element and blow off the dust. If it looks clean, if you don't have to clean, then don't clean. If you do have to clean, then my solution is to use the lens cleaning paper. Microfiber cloth can be great, but it often leaves stuff on the front element and which is even tougher to remove with the blower. So I find the lens cleaning paper to work best. What I do is just use one of these, apply just a little bit of the solution, and then just wipe it um, in circular motion, either clockwise or counterclockwise, until it's clean. Then, once it's clean, just blow off the rest of the stuff that might be there, and I'm ready to go. I can put the front cap back on, and I'm done. Now, let's talk about cleaning the rear lens element. This is the part where you have to be a little bit careful because there are uh, metal pieces here, and um, it sometimes can get difficult to uh, clean the, the rear lens mount. So again, use the same uh, lens cleaning paper, and obviously use a different one than the one that you used on the front, just to make sure that um, it's all clean. And then use the same method of applying some uh, solution, and just gently wiping it either clockwise or counterclockwise, and um, once it's all clean, use the blower to remove the rest of the dust that might be there. Again, if you don't have to clean, don't clean it. Most of the time, the rear lens element stays clean. But if you see some marks, if you accidentally touched it, then in that case, that's the way to clean it. Once you're done, that was basically the last part. You can put the lens hood back on, and we're done. Thank you for watching.